He must have thought you were pretty generous. Uh, he thought no one was looking. <laughs> we're all inside, so. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> you think I was consulting Uncle Bob? <laughs> you know better. I have zero say in all that. I mean, I, I wouldn't have taken them all. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh man, what I'd give for a sweet whenever I was that age. <laughs> yeah, you didn't just didn't it. have candy bars, did you? Just didn't get them. Didn't have the. You get the hard candy. Yeah. <clears throat> you, you, on those bus treats, that, that, what they give you was that hard candy. They didn't, yeah. Ooh, damn, I got cramps. You didn't get chocolate or. Was the candy kitchen a thing when you were? It was big. Yeah. Whenever I was, whenever I was a teenager, it was huge. Would you go down there a lot after school, or just? I didn't go after school. I was milking. But as soon as I could get there, if, if whenever I could get there, I was there. Hmm. Yeah. And what was your favorite thing to get? I, I probably my. I, it was either a, a, a butterscotch sundae or a free lunch. Free lunch. Yep. A free lunch was ice cream packed in this little thing, and it was um, vanilla ice cream with chocolate, a pretty good dab of chocolate, and then crushed peanuts or nuts, mm -hmm. and then a shot of, of um, uh, um, like whipped cream. Whipped cream. So it's kind of like a sundae. It, on top of it, and then a cherry. So it's kind of like a Sunday. it sounds like. Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway. Right. How much does this cost you, Ruben? Probably a quarter. Yeah, well, that's... Probably a quarter. And what would you do for money back then? I had plenty of money. <laughs> we that's... had we, we had those cows. Like, uh, so you got some money for see, working I, the farm? Yeah, I, uh, well, we, we, us boys <laughs> owned a herd of cattle. Okay. We, uh, so you were in were, business for yourself. Yeah, uh, we had a, we had about a herd of about thirty cows over there at Uncle Warren's. That barn, uh, he rented that to us, or he let us have it. And then which we, barn is that? By the airport. By the airfield. Yeah. Okay. okay. And um, we owned about thirty head of milk cows there, and uh, morning and night. Did everyone pull their weight? Yeah. Dwayne I would think kinda, Dwayne would probably skirt the... Dane, uh, he would, <laughs> he'd try to yeah, get out of it. Yeah, but everybody pretty much... <laughs> yeah. Everybody did their part. You know, so. Hmm. We so didn't you always had problem. the little spending cash on you, huh? Yeah. Jack and Dwayne didn't do much. Yeah. So, so Jackie you... was... Jackie, he stayed home and worked with Dad. Yeah. Because... Yeah. And uh, he never did... John and I took care of it most of the time because Dwayne had graduated from high school. And what did he do right after high school? He worked for Capital Finance, a little building right next to the candy kitchen. Okay. That was Capital Finance. Huh. And your your nanny should go in there every Christmas and get a Christmas loan. Hmm. And. Uh, have a big Christmas for all of them, and then she pay all. for it. And she now Keller, whenever he came along, he had a savings, Christmas couple savings, didn't hmm. you, Deke? Yeah. He always had it paid in advance mm -hmm. for the next year, but hmm. and then Nanny did toward the end too. Right. Yeah, but but uh, Kay was never short in Christmas. They always had a nice Christmas. Hmm. My parents didn't uh, celebrate it too big. <laughs> Is that right? It was pretty thin pickings. <laughs> Interesting. A pair of socks. Did you guys go to church on Sunday? <clears throat> no. We didn't go to church. No. As, as I, when I grew up. Yeah. yeah. Were they just not raised in a church or the farm kept you too No, busy? Grandma, I mean, my mother was a very dyed in the wool church of the firstborn. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, they would take us to church down there 
most of the, most of the, what I remember was uh, there was an old house there, and we had wooden benches, and we'd go down there on like Sunday afternoons. Hmm. Uh, and my grandfather McDaniel, he would try to preach, but hell, he was you know, it wasn't. Uh, it, it was. Um, <coughs> yeah. But they were very dedicated to it. Yeah, my, my mother was a very strong <coughs> Did your dad, when he was growing up, did they ever go to any church that you know of? His mother, his mother went to the First Baptist Church all of her life. Hmm. And Aunt Vivian went with her. Aunt Vivian was... So that was a haul for them I mean, uh, to get into town. Well, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Crone brought them every, mm -hmm. that she did that. Hmm. She'd go and pick them up every day, every Sunday and bring them. Hmm. And, and that's probably back when the church was there next to the Christian church, wasn't it? Wasn't the yeah. old Baptist church next to yeah. where the reporter building yeah, is? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. That's funny. I wonder what the Baptists thought of the Christian church and the Christian church thought of the Baptist church back in those days. Well, they both had their doctrine, which was quite different. Mm-hmm. But I remember the doctrine in the First Baptist Church when her, uh, it, it, total abstention from alcohol. Mm. That was it, that was it written into it. Mm -hmm. You know, hmm. no alcohol. My things have changed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Things have changed. But they were, of course, Wilson, he was all, they were, they had a, a good social gathering for the ministers every Wednesday, I think it was. Did they? Of, of all the churches in Martinsville. Oh, yeah. No, I remember that. Yeah, they, they all gathered together. Wilson really enjoyed that, if yeah. I remember. Yeah. yeah. That's where he got to know uh, that guy that was a Presbyterian minister, Christy Wareham, when he first came yeah. to town. Yeah. I wonder if they do that anymore. I was wondering that just today, Chip. Nope. I would. I would. I know yeah. ours wouldn't be participating in it because he got another job. Right. <clears throat> but, oh, Wilson. But that was a big deal for them. They. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lifetime of did when Jeff Session. They they did a little bit. Did they? Not mm -hmm. much. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Reverend McDonald, Presbyterian, mm. very distinguished looking, white headed, mm -hmm. quite a good preacher too. Was he a Baptist? Huh? His Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. All the churches were right there within a few mm -hmm. blocks of each other, weren't they? Who was the preacher there? Well, Reverend Adams was probably the best known one of all of them for Baptist. Hmm. Is that the one right before mm -hmm. Wilson, or no? Yeah. Uh -uh. No. no, there like was that lay layman, or yeah, lay there was mm -hmm. a layman in there. But I think back when maybe my grandmother and all of them went, I think it was Reverend Adams. Adams, that's who it was. Yeah, he was quite respected. And yeah, the Methodists, the Presbyterians, the Baptists, the Christian. Were there any? Uh, Assembly of God churches around back then? Pentecostal Catholic church, church was there. Catholic church. But well, yeah, that's yeah. where the Lutheran church was for a while, too. Wasn't that the original Catholic and then church? Your, your grandmother. Oh, uh, she had that church of science. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always kind of admired her on that. She, she, she sunk a lot of money in that thing, didn't well, she? They built that building right there. I think right they on built it all. Washington I think Street. they understood it. I'm sure they were. Got Harry financed it all. Yeah. Hannah always did, but Harry Ned did go. Oh, he didn't? I don't think he ever would well, talk. He's like all the rest of us. He did whatever his wife told him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's one guy I really wish I'd like to go back and be able to interview about how that whole grassy fork started. And the biggest thing I want to ask him is how he was able to build that house we, I grew up in in the midst of the Great Depression. 
I almost wonder if he wasn't a bootlegger behind the scenes or doing something else because he built that house in 1931, right in the beginning of the Great Depression. Do you remember him very much or not? No. I mean, I got a picture of him holding me when I was a little baby, but he died when I was like every year morning. Too old. Got out of bed, white shirt and tie. Yeah. And he always had and a then, cigar and a lot and of And then just sat, sat down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do any work. Relax, yeah. well, they said, he, Aunt Joe <laughs> always explains it, that he had some kind of heart issue when he was in his 40s. And that's what made him retire from the daily work of the fisheries. Yeah. And then Stanley Byron screwed him over when it came time to do all that transaction. And she yeah. said yeah. that Harry, he never had any stock in the fisheries, but yet... He was supposedly, you know, in the number two there behind Mr. Shireman. Yeah. But he invested a lot in the stock market. <laughs> he must have done something right. He I've got his be. will somewhere. He died with about two hundred thousand dollars of in the of money and stocks, and then plus the house. And Graham had it all spent in about <laughs> fifteen years. <laughs> of course, she bought the house. Yeah. Pretty cheap. Yeah. What'd you pay for it? $30,000, is isn't that something? And here it just sold this last year for 323000 That's what Ron Bowens. Yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, it's a well-built house. Yeah. I mean, it needs a lot of upkeep. The only thing I need is rewire. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. How, what, how do you do that? Those walls are all plastered. You just go in and Well, just, you just have to, you just have to. Yeah, but don't pull leave before it. you say bye. No, you, have, you have to pull it. Or, you know, but, uh, but you damage all that. You can't pull it. Why not? It's all in that, uh, what, that lumen. Conduit? Yeah, not conduit, but it, well, it's probably right. not up to code, huh? <clears throat> code. Mine not? on Washington Street was supposed to, it had that, it had a little insulator. That stuck up and had a, a glass, white glass thing, and and it uh, the what they had two wires. One was live and one was this ground wire. Did you rewire the house while you lived there? Yeah. 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 It was, Boy, that old house is looking bad these days, yeah. Uncle Bob. Yeah. I walk by there a lot, and it's just a shame to see it. It's just the paint, really, but I can only imagine how the inside looks. Yeah. We had her in top shape, didn't we? Yeah, always. That was nice living. Yep. Your Aunt Kay loved that house. But you know, at one time she... Did I ever tell you that story? You told me when you first bought it, you were stingy with the money and didn't really want to decorate it much. Right. And she just broke down one time, sobbing fit, and you yeah. finally said, all right, I'll go get a home equity loan and we'll redecorate it. Well, I you. sold my double. Oh, okay. See, we, we moved out of that double up there across from the church. Ah, okay. I owned a double there, and I said, I'll sell the double. And take the and money and let you duck her. Yeah, yeah. Say so that I brought it up to date, and she fell in love with it. It was great. It was always cozy. I always felt... Yeah. You leaving? Yeah. Your kitchen was... Oh, you doing your laundry? I love to yeah. sit there at that little table you had there in your kitchen. And just sit there and yeah. watch Aunt Kay do her yeah. cooking and yeah. eat a ho-ho or something. I knew where that tin drawer was. <laughs> Boy, I'd go there first thing every time we'd come visit Uncle Bob. I knew exactly where to open up that little drawer of your hostess. Your, your, you uncle, your uncle Bob was in that a lot, too. <laughs> that was definitely the sugar pot, the honey pot. Um, oh, it was a great day. And when you were upstairs in your TV room, I was yeah. picture you in that recliner just sitting there watching TV. And yeah. Hilda was usually up there with you. And yeah. We'd sit there on that couch. Oh, well, thank you. Bye. I always enjoyed staying all night there those few yeah. times I did. I wonder, when that house was built, what house, What year was it built? Yeah, I know. It's still night, Doc. It must have been the edge of town. Because right it there, was. that's right there is where the street, you know, narrows down. And right. They must have just considered that a country road beyond yeah. that. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. And then, Mr., uh, that house just to the west of you yeah, uh, was Mr. Shireman's house, was it? Yeah. 
The people that live there now have done a good job keeping it. Have they? Yeah, it looks really yeah. nice in there. Yeah. Their door was open. Bruno lived there. That's right. That's Mr. Tony. Potter. Yeah. He and I were neighbors twice. Okay. Yeah. I like Bruno. Huh. And the that house was... back behind there with Lester at home. Yeah. And they got a pool there in that Shireman home now. There's a pool in the backyard. Yeah, really? Mm -hmm. No kidding. Yeah, those people that live there take good care of it. I always thought that'd be a nice little home to have. It's behind, kind of behind. You know where your house was on Harrison Street. Mm -hmm. Caddy cornered from that is a real oh, Victorian birthday. home that oh, they painted up. Oh, for later tonight. Oh, yeah. You know which one I'm talking about? Outfit. On the corner of Wayne and Harrison. Yeah. Yeah. And I was by there today, and they've got a beautiful garden out there on that other lot. Oh, do they? And you, oh, yeah. you ought to go see that. Uh, it's I, all brick. I walk by. Oh, no, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those people have a lot of money. Now I know what you're talking about. Pike and Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they built the. They tore down the house next to there, and they built the. Oh, the I did. Wall. I didn't know that. That I thought. Well, there must have been a house there. There was an ugly house there for years. The guy that owns the nice house you're talking about, yeah. he's lived there for years. He's a real estate uh, developer, and he owns Gods of Apartments in Bloomington. Real nice guy, Steve Bodie's his name. They've lived there forever, raised their kids. Uh, but uh, I always wondered why they live here in Martinsville when all his business is down there in Bloomington. But he's got he's got dozens and dozens of properties. He's done very well, obviously. But uh, that brick fence that they built there. Oh, that is nice. It remind me of our old backyard because it looks like they even got a spot for a fountain back there. Yeah, now. they do. They did. I, 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 They're spending some money. Him and his they? wife was out there working, and I about turned around and went back and told him how beautiful it was. If I ever see him, I was going to stop and say the same thing because that's been a huge improvement. That'll be a nice house someday because I guarantee you they've they've done it first class. Yeah, in that they house. have, and she knows how to and do her, it. She's a gardener. It, it, it's a Victorian house, and she knows how to paint it. Yeah, she's got it painted multiple colors. In fact, that's yeah. She she's uh, I think uh, I looked her up. Sometime. That's an excellent. Uh, that's an excellent replica of a. A Victorian house in the yeah. old days. Yeah. I was looking back at a lot of the property records on that. It's wonderful. I remember you used to have the plat books you'd get once mm -hmm. a year or so, mm -hmm. and I always liked looking mm -hmm. through those. Well, now it's all on the computer, you know. You just click on it, and it shows you who owns it, but it, it, it'll tell you the history ownership. And Grandpa Deterrent, he owned a bunch of that land around that house. I think he probably owned that entire couple of blocks there at one time. Yeah. yeah. He owned all the way up to Cunningham. Parkview. Yeah, and yeah. He, he owned down to Parkview, that's right. Yeah. So he must have made a lot of money just selling that land over the years. I never thought of that, but you're probably right. He owned a lot of land. And he, that house were uh, next to Doris. Mm -hmm. He lived there for a while, didn't he? No. Well, they said it was a Turk house. Maybe his dad lived there. Next to what? You know, the St. John house next to, or not St. John, St. Clair, next to Doris Smith. Wasn't that St. Clair? That, that's well, his house. son, but the yeah. guy that did it. Who was the farmer that gave it all to Wilson? Anyway, Look. that house it was, was one Kramer, time. Wasn't it? Huh? Wasn't it a Kramer? No. Was, he gave, but I mean, they're, they, they were the one that filed suit. They, they, yeah, they, well, too, but he had a leg cut off. Yeah, and, I know. But that was that was Grandpa the Turk's house. Because Mo Ellis that lives there now has come in and showed me all these documents that that was... I thought he said Harry the Turk's house at one time. I know. I mean, the, the Grackley Fork, before they built that, they live up there in Grackley Fork, old farmhouse. But that tore down now, but yeah. you might be right, but I... I, I think you did. I, I, I think I about bet you're right. Mr. Lewis. Yeah, Mr. Lewis. But the Kramer. But the Kramers were a relative. Well, they didn't go sue. Yeah, uh, one of the, I've looked that up. Um, one of uh, I can't remember how that was. But yeah, there was a Kramer that was married to either one of Harry's 
brothers or sisters or man, he only had two sisters though. I'd have to go back and look now. But yeah, there's he was really he was first cousins to that Shireman guy that started the fisheries. They were I, first cousins. I wanted to tell you something because I'm sure I'm probably the last one, but down there where you turn off to go off of the thirty nine now to go down to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. That building there. Mm -hmm. If anybody ever asked you, that was a Packard dealership. Oh, yeah? In the beginning. Eddie Miller owned it. Hmm. And my dad bought a car off of him. Dad bought a 48 Packard. Are you talking about down there where Tom Green business did? Mm -hmm. talking about back on this. Recovious. Yeah, Rick Helvius. Oh, Rick Helvius, okay. Yeah. The city's about that, torn that Well, that was a Packard dealership for a while. <clears throat> I mean, that was right? probably out in the middle. That wasn't in town back then either, was it? I mean, that had to be considered. It, it was outside. Outside. See, of all of Uncle Warren's farm, all of that has been developed since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. All that frontage road and everything. Uh, Frisch's was down oh, there, but... What about uh, that the, all belonged to Uncle Warren, but prior to that, it was bought part of the Kennedy, uh, the Home Lawn Foundation. It was part of the Home Lawn really? Dairy. It's their dairy farm. Ah, yeah. so the Kennedys owned it. Yeah, yeah. There's a family that just up and disappeared from Martinsville, isn't it? You don't know the Kennedys stuck around. It, uh, After the sanitariums just went <coughs> on the downside, none of them yeah. stuck around. Yeah. Yeah. One of them did for a while. I guess. Uh, I guess Paulette. She's dying, I think. But she was Don. She, she lived. Uh, Paulette grew up for uh, your golfing buddy. Yeah. yeah. Keith Anderson was yeah. now. That was a Kennedy home, I know. Yeah. And then the one down there were that John was, Neal, or not John yeah. Neal, but. Uh, the Neals lived on Jefferson Street. Wasn't that a Kennedy yeah. home? One of the Kennedys? No, not uh, on Jefferson, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where uh, Tom yeah. That was Bud to... Kennedy's. Okay. Uh, where Elliot, I mean, where, uh, damn it. Your buddy. Yeah, Keith. Yeah. Keith. That, that was, was Don Kennedy. Oh, Don Kennedy. Oh, that's who started the golf course, right? Or well, his father did. His father did, okay. Yeah. That was Don Kennedy's, mm -hmm. and the Bud Kennedy had the home lawn at, okay. over by there. Hmm. Who built the house uh, there on Washington Street, just to the east of where Costins is now? That white house. That Shireman. The guy, that was a Shireman house? Mm -hmm. Which Shireman? I don't know. I, I Barb don't, Gray. You know which one I'm talking about? Barb Drain. You know. Uh, her Barb folk, who? Bob Jane that had Bill and and yeah. It was one of their relatives. I don't know who. Her uh, mom and dad owned that. Yeah. I thought it was a Sherman. Maybe it might not have been a Sherman, but it's a her, very her parents owned it. Yeah, way caught on that, wasn't it? No, that was... That's where John... That's where Johnny Monkley was. Uh, yeah, so one just yeah, next to yeah. it. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's one of the most interesting looking houses on that street, too. The architectural is... It it's almost reminds me of a British house, for some reason. It is a... Um, it's probably one of the finer architecturals. I'd like to go in there and look at that one you sometime. Know. Isn't that where that But there is, was? there has been uh, several... Guy? Leslie Guy? Or? Yeah. Yeah. She got married to somebody up here. There's so many nice homes in Martinsville. People don't even, they just, they, I don't know, they don't realize what a, what it must have been to build them back when they were built, you know, those were mansions. People Vermont, didn't have that kind of money. Vermont is the same way. Yeah. Uh, Rutland, Vermont has got many, many houses like that. And I think most of the money came from uh, mining mar uh, marble. Yeah. They they have big 
stone quarries with marble, marble. Um, because there's had to be big money in some stage in those small towns to build those kind of homes. Just the same here. But it happened to be most of what ours was due to. Ours was the, fishy, the fisheries or the sanitariums, wasn't it? Fisheries, sanitariums, well, and brick. The brick factory. Yeah. That guy Poston built that house there where J.K. lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. $25,000 to build it. Harry de Kirk House. $25,000. Furniture it and build it. That was a fortune Back though in 1931. Yeah, That's why yeah, they I'd got I'd love it. to just find <laughs> talk about him and see where he got all his money. I mean, because it was a nicer house than Mr. Sharman had there on Washington yeah. Street. Yeah. So yeah. I just, something didn't add up to me there. He either just had more extravagant taste or somehow was making even more money. I don't know. Nobody's smiling. Is the candy gone? Nope. Any, any more uh, chunks tried to take the whole table? Nope. Well, I'll take tell bag. you. Take one bag. It was pretty fabulous.